Hi. Let us have a look at the properties of right angle triangle. The properties around a right angle triangle are very, very important in geometry. So let's have a look at this very, very carefully. We're going to try and recollect five properties in a right angle triangle. Let's see the first one. The first one is the most common one, the Pythagoras theorem. So if I look at a triangle ABC, where angle B is 90, then the hypotenuse is AC, or AC is called as your hypotenuse, the side opposite to 90 degrees. Then the Pythagoras theorem states that AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square. Right? That's the basic Pythagoras theorem. Let's go to the next one. Median to the hypotenuse is half of the hypotenuse. In your earlier videos, you've already studied what's a median. So from B, if I draw a median, that is BD, to the hypotenuse, so obviously BD, so, uh, BD divides AC into two parts, AD and DC, which are equal. Then BD itself will also be half of AC. So the property states the median drawn to the hypotenuse will be half of the hypotenuse. So because of that, you can clearly see BD, AD and CD, all three become equal, which will make D as your circumcenter because D is a point from which A, C and B are equidistant. So taking D as the center and BD, AD or CD as your radius, if I draw a circle, that will become your circumcircle, right? And what do we know? In any right angle triangle, the circumcenter will always be the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Let's quickly go through that. In a right angle triangle, the median drawn to the hypotenuse will be half of hypotenuse. And the point D, where that is the midpoint of the hypotenuse, will be your circumcenter of the right angle triangle. Going ahead to the next property, altitude to the hypotenuse. So if you draw an altitude to the hypotenuse, let's see what happens. So if you have a triangle ABC, and if I draw BE as the altitude on AC, then the property states that BE square is equal to AE into EC. You'll be studying this in detail in similarity. When you come across similarity, you can easily prove this using similarity. So the property is BE square is AE into EC. This sometimes is also known as the geometric mean corollary. Next one, 30, 60, 90 theorem or 30, 60, 90 triangle. Very, very, very important. So if I have a triangle where one angle is 90 and the other two angles are 30 and 60, then there are some special properties around this triangle. The first one being that side opposite to 30 degrees is half of hypotenuse. So which is your side opposite to 30 degrees in this diagram? AB. So AB will be half of AC. Similarly, side opposite to 60 degrees is root 3 upon 2 of the hypotenuse. That is BC will be root 3 upon 2 of AC. So if you think logically, just to take a small example, if AC was 10, then AB would have been 5 and BC would have been 5 root 3. Or in simple terms, the three sides will always be in the ratio 1 root 3 and 2. That is side opposite to 30 is will be 1, side opposite to 60 will be root 3 and the hypotenuse will be 2. So very, very important theorem, 30, 60, 90 theorem. The next would be the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Obviously, if I call it as a 45, 45, 90 triangle, I know it has to be an isosceles right angle triangle. So whenever a triangle is an isosceles right angle, it will always be 45, 45, 90. So one angle is 90 and the other two angles are 45. The property over here is the side opposite to 45 will be 1 upon root 2 of the hypotenuse. So AB and BC, which are both equal to each other, will be 1 upon root 2 of AC or the three sides will be in the ratio 1, 1 and root 2, where AB and BC can be 1 and the hypotenuse would be root 2. So these would be your five properties around a right angle triangle. Very important. Please see that you revise this very, very carefully.